Hello everybody, this is Sonia from Sonia's Quilts and Embroidery and today I'm going to show you how to put together a teddy bear. This is a simplicity pattern A2115 and this is, I've got it cut out in this plastic that they use to cover antique tables to protect them from spills or water rings or whatever. I buy this at Walmart. And it's not that much. It doesn't, and it's real wide, <clears throat> so it don't take very much to make a pattern. And this pattern will not wear out. You can draw around it. It won't get the edges wet and mess up the edges. So I recommend doing that. And I've already got them, got my pattern drawn out on my fabric. I ironed some of the <clears throat> P44F, I think it's what it's called. Uh, lightweight interface and give the fabric a little more substance because these shirts have been worn a lot and the fabric is thinner than it, it used to be so I always do that now when you do this is the front of the teddy bear and the way you cut it out I think I used the back of the shirt a sleeve and one part of the front of the shirt and you would lay your pattern on like this and the next one, <clears throat> the next piece, you have to have two. Next one you do, you would flip it like this to do your second one. And you can make these teddy bears out of two or three different shirts. Um, just, um, you know, decide if you want the ears out of one sh out of one piece of clothing. And the, it's cute to do the nose in another color. And then the bottom of the feet. And, you know, just, just a lot of different ways you can do this. And I usually do not, I usually sew as I, as I cut these out. So I would cut out this front. And when I got this front cut out, I will cut out the other front and sew those together. By the time I get this pattern cut out, the bear will be halfway done. I don't cut out all the little the little points like that. I'd usually cut, I mean I've made like a few hundred of these. So, um, I do like to have this double point there that tells me that is the center of the front. I'll show you a couple that I've done the last couple days. I've done this little guy in the Alabama t-shirt. Of course, there's no way to match up because you have to have this <clears throat> cut on a curve here so that he'll have some three some dimension to him and then I've made this one out of a little girl's dress and added the collar of the dress around her little neck so she'd be all girly still got to well I've already sewn up this one um there's four five holes when you get done that have to be sewn together the back the arms and I missed one of his little legs. I have to go back and get that because I did this leg. <clears throat> I'm go back through here and find the other front. I'm gonna pause this periodically or it'll be, it'll take too long. Cut out this other front. And we'll sew these together and then I'm going to pause for a little bit in order to get some more of these cut out. It actually takes longer to iron the interface and on, draw it off, cut it out than it does to put the bear together. But like I said, I've done a few hundred of these and before I did my very first one I was extremely nervous because once this is cut out that's it I mean that this shirt cannot be replaced this shirt belonged to somebody that somebody holds very dear and this shirt meant something to them and if you mess it up it's just there's no 
no fixing and no um, getting another shirt because this is the you might have found a shirt just exactly like this, but it would not have belonged to that person. I'll put my pattern away. <clears throat> All right, I'll take the two little double notches here. We're going to sew those together matching it up all the way down to the bottom and about a quarter inch seam and my machine has come unthreaded And then I'll just go ahead and trim this seam down. Being careful not to cut my stitches. All right, I'm going to put you on hold while I cut out the rest of these pieces. I'll be right back. All right, so now we have all of our pieces cut out. We got the front sewn together. We have the head pieces. There are there are nine pieces for the head. We have our four arms. We have our four legs. We have our two bottoms of the feet, and we have our two backs. All right, I like to put together the um, arms and the I mean, the legs. And the front and the back first and we'll move you over just a little bit so you can see my needle move you back just a little bit okay so we have our front put together we have trimmed it down to uh, close to the threads but not didn't clip those and that's our little belly Now, I may have to do this in two parts because my camera kicks off sometimes at 30, at 30 minutes. So, I'm going to try to pause this just when I can so that I can get as much in as I can. And then we're going to... Oh, this machine keeps coming unthreaded today. We just close this little dart up. This makes his little butt. This makes him have something he can sit on. Just sew straight across. And once again, we're going to match up. Well, this one doesn't have the double dart, but these two darts that are spaced out here we're not going to sew that is the um, that is the back seam and we're going to not sew between the darts because that's where we stuff our teddy bear keep our darts together back stitch because it's going to be a very stressful point when we start turning this bear right side out and stuffing him and all of that. So we're going to double one back to there. We skip over that spot and we continue on. We got some strings going on here. And there's his little back side. And the way the darts, it makes him bow down so that he can sit up like this. All right, we have our back and our front. Now let's do the legs. Right sides together. And we have this double darts double there's two single darts here we're going to not sew in between those back stitch back stitch back 
stitch and then we're going to do a complete seam on the front side of his little foot. And the same thing for this one. seam down close to the thread but do not clip your threads and also since this teddy bear is so many pieces it's difficult if you make a mistake to take it apart always check your work when you turn everything right side out give it a good thorough inspection so that you will um, if you've missed a spot it'd be a good opportunity to fix it I have found uh, times that I have gotten a bear stuffed, sewn together, and looked, and I had missed a spot and had to take it apart. Not fun. So we're going to, I like to, well, I like to do the feet. You're putting a round peg into a square hole here. So the way I like to do it is I like to stitch across those little, matching those side darts up. And I'm sure they've got a different name, but, and matching the other side up. And then I just kind of gauge the toe here. And then I'll start from one side and go around to the other side. And like I said, you're putting a, a, a square peg into a square hole. I mean, a round peg into a square hole. So just kind of, you have to stop, do a few stitches, stop. Do a few stitches, stop, raise your foot up, readjust. And then we'll continue on to the back of his little leg. and look to see that you caught it and then when you turn it right side out look again it's better to do an inspection than have to go back and remake this teddy bear all over again just because you missed one small little spot looks like I got him caught just right We'll lay that one aside and we'll do the next one. And 
let's turn this one right side out. Check our work. Looks like we caught it just right. Now, the bear, the bear will start taking shape. We're going to take our little side seams in our bear and match those up. Put those on the front of the body with his little foot kicking himself in the stomach. With his little foot pointed toward the stomach. I put those on backwards one day. That was a pain. I discovered it pretty, I, I discovered it pretty quickly, but it was still aggravating. And we're going about maybe a half an inch off the, the center seam of his belly. Put this little foot down, once again pointed toward the, the belly. And just continue on around. Making sure you catch both sides of the leg. And then lay his little legs out. See that we got that caught. Now fold his little feet back up in here. And we're going to take the back. And I like to start, instead of starting at the at the top up here and going around, I like to start at the, the bottom of the stomach and the back, the bottom seams, and go from there. Go from there all the way up to the top. It's off just a little bit right there, but that's fine. We'll take that up when we get the head put on. And then we're going to go start this at the center bottom seam again and go back up the other side. And there we have it. Put his little feet out, his little legs out in the hole. Turn him right side out. And there we have the beginning of our teddy bear. Hold in the back to stuff him. All right, now let's do the arms. Same way we're gonna do the legs. We're gonna have to leave a little hole for stuffing in the back of the arms. And when I cut this pattern out, I only put one. So I just kind of just judge it. Back stitch, go through the little, and then skip down just a little bit. Let's turn this arm. Just run our finger down to the tip, get out all the little wrinkles. There we go. We have one arm. 
and then we'll do this one the same way. <laughs> I'll stop down here, leave a hole, and go back up to here. These are really not difficult. Some, you know, the first time or two that you make these, you might have to um, fix a spot that you missed or something like that. But it's just needle and thread. And make sure before you clip your seams like this that you have got it caught very well so that it's just better for you trim to check your work. Always check your work. Always, always. Anybody can make a mistake. I've been sewing for 41 years. I make mistakes every day. That's why they make, that's why they invented seam rippers. All right, we have his other little arm. And we're gonna pick up the body. Put his little arm on the side seam here. With his little arm, with his little hand pointing toward his little belly. Match, not really matching up anything. We're just laying his little arm up there and putting it on that side seam. And we're gonna tack this down just to hold it into place until we get the head on. I don't recommend you pinning this. I recommend you just go ahead and and just barely catching it. And so it, you won't be, be, be no worries when you get ready to put the head on. The arms are already in place. Put the other arm on with his little hand pointing toward his belly. <laughs> There he is. With his little arms and legs and little feet. Now time for the head, which is my favorite part. We have two sets of ears here, two piece, four pieces. And we're going to just sew all the way around. <laughs> Turn his little ear right side out. And we're going to put just a little bit of the stuffing. I get mine at Walmart. It comes in a box. I don't know how many pounds it is. Probably about five pounds. Five pounds goes a long way. I think each box I can, I figured it out one day, I can stuff. I want to say it's like three or four bears. And then get the stuffing in there. And we're going to pinch his little ear together. And we're going to sew this bottom together. Just like that. Turn his little ear, put some more stuff in him. You don't want to stuff this ear too tight. Just enough, basically, basically so it will stand up. Close it up, and then let's tack it down. So I tacked it down the very edge, just to hold it together. This is the nose. We're not going to do that yet. This is his face. And we put together the double notch there. And so right across the front of his face. Trim that down. 
Now it's time for his nose. Now the nose is a lot of picking up and turning and readjusting because it is going to make this bear have a, you know, dimension to his face. So we start and match up our little darts there. And we're just going to follow right along with this nose. We're going to follow right along with the curvature of the face. You get to the tip of the nose, you have to really move it several times. his little face it's time to add eyeballs and a nose these are the little safety noses the eyes. We got one nose and we need another eye. The best place to buy the noses and the eyes are at Hobby Lobby. You get a whole lot more in a pack for about half the money than other craft stores. All right, right here in the center of his face and the tip of his nose, do not go into that seam. Let's go right above that seam right there. And stick, I just stick those seam ripper in there. And don't cut a hole that's too big. You can always go back and make it bigger, but you can't make it smaller. Push our little nose through the hole. All right, there we go. Put this little nose in there, put the little disc on the back, and it goes with the the part that pokes out, the raised part, that goes up. The flat gar part goes next to the fabric. There we go. And then I just eyeball the eyeballs. That's why one of the things about making these teddy bears is by not by not going by the pattern to do the eyes and the nose, they it gives them each their own little personality. I did one cockeyed one time and it was one of my favorite ones. And then I accidentally put the head, neck on that. It's one of the first ones I did. I put the head on there just slightly crooked and he looked like he was looking to his left and it just gave him his own little personality. It wasn't much. It wasn't like his head was rotating on his neck. It was just like he was looking over to his left just a little bit. We have our personality coming through. Sometimes the little disc will catch the fabric and you just have to kind of like pull it out just a little bit. All right, now it's time to attach his ears. I start, I put his ear 
there's the seam on his nose there and I put it just off of that just a little bit and I use it just so straight across the bridge of the nose till I get to the other side lay his ear down just off of that seam on the other side We're just holding that ear into place. And there's his little face. Now this is the back of his head. Once again, we're going to go with the double notches. And we'll sew that together. That's the back of the head. And then I just like the belly and the sewing the belly and the back together. I kind of gauge halfway between the seams of the nose at the top of the bridge of the nose and start at that point and work my way down to his neck. Just to give him, make sure he's on there really even. Catch those ears really well at this point. We'll start back up at the top of the bridge of his nose and go down the other direction. Now let's go back and check our work on this. The main thing is that the ears got caught really well and in order for them to get that I consider them to be caught well it's the seam you made just the little seam you made to tack the ears onto the front of the face if none of those seams are still are showing through then you caught it very you caught it really well so no, no none of my seams are showing through all right now it's time to attach the head to the body these two little darts on the back of his head are so important. That will tell you that because when you have his face all folded up and stuck down inside of his body, that is the only indication that that's the back of his head. And conveniently, simplicity put the matching little darts on the back of his neck. What's your name? You just watching? You got you got that on? It's on there. How big is it? Five by eight. Yeah. This is where I ran my finger through the sewing machine the other day to put this. Actually, I was putting the arms on. You see that? I posted a picture of the day. I got my finger right there in this I machine. Didn't see it or you'd have heard the scream. Oh, well, so one of my one of my people and my members of my group said every time I see that I close my every time it comes up on my feet I close my eyes, poke his little head, all folded up down into his body and we're going to match up the seam and the darts on the back of his head and and be, give it a, gen, a generous seam a generous 5 8 1 quarter inch seam on this so that you'll be sure to catch everything and there is a lot of readjusting on this because it's a very small space you want to keep everything pleat free and flat and it's a very small hole it doesn't take long to go around it so don't get impatient and start pushing it because do, you're going to get a pleat in it. Mm 
And that should have got it. Just catching the top of the arms, putting the head on. I'm just go back and check our work, push him all back through the opening in his back. Check his little arms, they're caught good. Always check his little arm underarms, make sure they're caught good. Check his head. All right, I think we got him put together. I'll be back with a new video on how to stuff him. Thank y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. We have our personality coming through. Sometimes the little disc will catch the fabric and you just have to kind of like pull it out just a little bit. All right, now it's time to attach his ears. I start, I put his ear, there's the seam on his nose there, and I put it just off of that, just a little bit. And I use it just so straight across the bridge of the nose. So I get to the other side. Lay his ear down just off of that seam on the other side. And we're just holding that ear into place. And there's his little face. Now this is the back of his head. Once again, we're going to go with the double notches and we'll sew that together that's the back of the head and then just like the belly and the sewing the belly in the back together I kind of gauge halfway between the seams of the nose at the top of the bridge of the nose and start at that point and work my way down to his neck just to give him make sure he's on there really even catch those ears really well at this point We'll start back up at the top of the bridge of his nose and go down the other direction. Now let's go back and check our work on this. The main thing is that the ears got caught really well and in order for them to get that I consider them to be caught well it's the seam you made just the little seam you made to tack the ears onto the front of the face if none of those seams are still are showing through then you caught it very you caught it really well so no, no none of my seams are showing through all right now it's time to attach the head to the body these two little darts on the back of his head are so important. That will take that because when you have his face all folded up and stuck down inside of his body, that is the only indication that that's the back of his head. And conveniently, simplicity put the matching little darts on the back of his neck. What's your name? You just watching? You got you got that on? It's on there. How big is it? Five by eight. Yeah. 
this is where I ran my finger through the sewing machine the other day to put this. Actually, I was putting the arms on. You see that? I posted a picture of the day. I got my finger right there in this I machine. I didn't see it or you'd have heard the scream. <sighs> well, so one of my, one of my people in my members of my group said every time I see that I close my every time it comes up on my feet I close my eyes poke his little head all folded up down into his body and we're going to match up the seam and the darts on the back of his head and and be, give it a, gen, a generous seam a generous Five eighths, one quarter inch seam on this, so that you'll be sure to catch everything. And there is a lot of readjusting on this because it's a very small space. You want to keep everything pleat free and flat. And it's a very small hole. It doesn't take long to go around it, so don't get impatient and start pushing it because if you do you're gonna get a pleat in it. Should have got it. Just catching the top of the arms, putting the head on. I'm just go back and check our work. Push him all back through the open it in his back. Check his little arms. They're caught good. Always check his little arm underarms. Make sure they're caught good. Check his head. All right. I think we got him put together. I'll be back with a new video on how to stuff him. Thank y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it.